In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. According to the Bible, God created our universe in six days. On the fourth day, God created our sun, our moon, and the other planets of our solar system. Then it says, He made the stars also. Is this true history? Is this how our universe came to be? According to secular scientists, the answer is no. Most secular astronomers believe that the heavenly bodies formed by gradual natural processes over billions of years. They say that this idea is scientifically sound, that it's based on solid scientific principles, that it matches all the evidence. But this isn't true. In the first video of this series, we looked at the planets and moons in our solar system. We looked at the secular model for the solar system's origin, known as the Solar Nebula Model. We discovered that there's lots of evidence against this model. Each of the planets contradicts it in various ways. In fact, the model predicts that many of the planets in our solar system can't exist at all, but they exist nevertheless. Rather than supporting the secular model, our solar system is consistent with the biblical account of creation instead. But what about everything else we see in the heavens? The universe contains 100 to 200 billion galaxies. Each one contains about 100 billion stars on average. Can the secular model explain these objects? No, it can't. In this video, you'll discover how the universe proclaims the glory of its creator as we explore its stars and galaxies.